sometimes computer does not always work. Virtual learning becomes even more trying while simultaneously learning the language your courses are taught in. It's very difficult or complicated for me. Azizuddin Mohammed is a Rohingya refugee. He's been in Michigan for about three years. Even with support to get him through online learning, he says it's a consistent challenge. I'm also concerned about other, other kids, other students. How can they learn? It is very difficult. Mohammed is one of several hundred students in Bethany Christian Services' unaccompanied refugee minor program. For English language learners, we're worried about the gap between them and their peers growing even more over this time. Susan Kroc, who directs the program, says their staff has focused much of its efforts on helping students who in some cases have never used technology. We can't do it alone, and we really want to be partnering with community schools to make sure that these kids and families are um, getting their needs met. At Kent Intermediate School District. That idea that all kids are tech savvy, we just have to worry about the platform, that really isn't the case. Casey Gordon supervises special populations. She's advised districts returning in person to utilize things like clear masks and visual instructions for COVID-19 measures. Virtual learning, she says, requires extra assistance. To ensure that our students really do have a great foundation on how do I work this device? What do I click? Um, just beyond how do I use a particular platform? Mohammed says the added challenges can be discouraging to some. One of his friends recently telling him that they wanted to quit. He said, I don't want to study, I want to go to work. I said, don't give up. <laughs> In Kent County, Emma Nicholas, 13 on your side.